a little better in here now. Okay. So just, just, just everybody just lift your hands real quick. Just lift your hands. And that, that, that was in my spirit, Anna. To ask. To ask. Right now, just ask. Just ask. Just ask. Whatever you need right now in this moment, just ask. Inquire of the Lord. Inquire of him. Inquire of him. Zutkushia, Riteshovre te bestia, Ritistukustia, Redora de la Banzofre te beshi, Ritanzove pestivre te blea, Ritistukushia, Vipetokanza tata bezifre te le manza, Vora the stand of Ratata bestia, Vetukushia, Vetetestukusi retestive. I'm sorry, me, could you just stand up for me, please? Okay, you you good, you good. Zetakanzo tovretata. I just I want us, I want to teach you guys something. There's there's a power in unity. Zukushia. Come on, come on. Let's pray a little bit more. Come on, don't get tired now. Let's go. Zetakanzantan tampretes tufreta banzata. Vretes tu kushia. Redelelele bonzofretete pa. Come on, let's put prayer in the room. Vretes tu kushia. Vrutukunza ve pejifre te bestia, Rodada banjo fre te besti, Retetata kanzan tombonzo fre te ya, Vreteshu reteste me, Retukunza ta, Vretete besto covet ze vivibishti fre te ba, Rutushia, Retepanzo retesti, Retetukunzan zamvre dada baso fre te bestia, Retada da la banzo fre te besti, Eteshia. Father, we welcome you right here, right now. Father, we want you right now. We need you right now. We need you right now. We need you right now. I don't know what, but let's just spend some time in prayer. Let's not rush this moment right here. Let's not rush this moment right here. Some of you guys, a lot of questions already. It's only the second week of school. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Trust in Him. You asked, so now trust. You've asked, now trust. You've asked, now place your faith in him. Zutukushia, retesto retebestia. One more time, just lift your hands, just lift your hands. As a sign of surrender. Okay, as a sign, just right now, just let go, let go of your day. Some of you guys had a morning. Like a like a morning, it was a morning, and I, I feel that right now. So just just let it go. Quiet your mind. Everybody online, welcome to Help Ministries. Glad for you to join us. All right, if you're at home, just, just pray with us. Right now, we're just taking a moment to pray. This ministry will not do anything without consulting the Lord. So we, we pray. That's how we get our answers. That's how we get our results, by prayer. Zutadadamanzovretebestia. <laughs> 
Britta Banzovrete Bestia Vatusia Vabadokore Testia Vatusia Tanzovreta Ba Vatusia Right, I'm going to say this one thing. We're going to get ready for praise and worship. All right? So you, you guys have to learn how to tap into the presence of God, okay? No matter what type of week, day, month you had, right, just start praying, okay? Re repentance is a real thing, okay? When you repent, the Lord forgets everything in a moment. Okay, so just get it right with God and then pray. Don't, don't wait to pray. Don't work yourself up to pray. Get it right with the Lord. Father, open up your people's minds to hear what you have to say to them. Open up your people's minds. In the mighty name of Jesus. So welcome to Help Ministries. Come on, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Clap it up, clap it up. Come on, you can do better than that. Welcome to Bible study. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Amen. I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad you guys are here. Can we, can we like make this balance? There's like two people over here. Can we like have like three people come on this side, please? Please, let's, let's make it, you know, let's make it welcoming. Okay, let's make it welcoming. You know, guys, I know it can be a little scary. You know, some of you guys are freshmen. Some of you guys are, it's your first time coming to an on-campus Bible study. Um, it's a multitude of things. So we got some, some regulars. What's up, really? Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> um, so right now in this moment, I just have one thing to ask you. Just expect, okay? Expect the Lord to do something today, okay? Expect the Lord to do something right now in this moment. Okay. Again, do not do not look at the number of people in the room. Okay. Do not look at the number of people in the room, right? If you feel some type of way about it, change it. Okay, I'm I'm challenging you guys. I'm challenging you guys. If you if you don't like Bible study like this, right? If you believe that more people should be here, change it. Tell people to come and actually make them come. When, when, I, when I was on campus, I'd be like, I was like, yo, I, I'll go to the bar with you, take a shot if you come to Bible study. Right? So I'm not telling you to do that. You know what I mean? I'm not telling you to do that. But that's, that's the length, that's the extent I, that I would go to, to, to have people come to Bible study. All right? So if you, if, you don't, if you don't like this setting right now, right? It's a good setting, right? But if you feel like more people want to be here or needs to be here, change it. Okay, I'm challenging you. The, 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 the Lord really put that in my spirit this week to really challenge you guys. Okay, challenge you. All right? Th this is the first year from a two-year break where some people didn't even get Jesus. Now, we're, we, we, we have that opportunity to bring people to the Lord freely. Let's take advantage of it. Everybody close your eyes. All right? Close your eyes. It does stand up on the code of the But tons of rita bestia. Jitte, Britta cons de rita bestia, redala la bansofra. 
Let your will be done right now, Lord. Let your will be done right now. Few you guys had visions. Other, other, uh, the rest of y'all, you guys had like, like a, like a, like a moment of griefness just came, came up in your spirit. Other you guys, it was just like, what's going on, Lord? I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> All right, but the Lord, the Lord, He wants to do something tonight. Okay, like I'm, I feel. <laughs> That was bad church. But now the, the Lord really wants to do something tonight. Like he really wants to speak to our hearts tonight. All right. Um, um, I'm gonna just get right into my message. That's that's why that's what that's how I'm feeling right now. Okay, we'll sing, we'll sing after. Okay, let's let's get it right to my message. Amen. Glory to God. I'm sorry, Zach. Can you get this get this thing for me, please? <sighs> we'll sing a little bit after. I don't feel that to sing. Um Yes, thank you. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Bree. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much, brother. Can we give a hand clap to Zaire, please? Amen. All right. Thank you. Can we give a hand clap for Bree, too, please? Thank you. a Cookie Monster shirt. A sweater. You're right. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah. Every week is not going to be the same. Okay, every week is not going to be the same. Tastova tashava tatabanzia. Britukushia rida banzo fatanza na mano nansto. Vijitukushia. Tons of the Tabanja Tia Tikunza Tabanzo, Rita Bestia Naman Tunja Bretale Bestia. I'm not, I'm not stalling, guys. <laughs> I'm not stalling. Like, I, 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 I feel the Lord talking to you guys right now. Some of you guys is like, you don't even know the Lord is talking to you, but like, I've like I just, this, in this moment, the Lord is like imparting something in you guys right now. I don't know how to explain it. Just like being in this presence, like the Lord is really downloading something. That's the best way I can explain it. Okay. Man, Jesus. Just one more time. Just everybody just lift their hands. One more time. All right. There's... I'm, I'm not doing this on purpose, okay? There's a, there's a, there's a, something that happens when you lift your hands, okay? It's, it's a sign of surrender, all right? It's also a sign of worship. But just really receive. Hi, how you doing? Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. All right. Thank you. Thank you, much. I really do appreciate it. All right. Let's start here. Who remembers the word for of the year? Who remembers? Com communication. Amen. Okay. What we just came out of, right, was a form of communication with God. Okay. It was, it was praying. You know, we were yelling. Right, which is a form of prayer. The Bible says that when we don't know what to pray, right, we can groan, and the, the it would 
by our the, the Holy Spirit that's inside us, it would be translated as a prayer. Okay? We were speaking in tongues, right? That's a heavenly language that some of us have and all of us can have access to. Um, and, and for some of you guys, that's going to be really soon. Okay? Some of you guys had visions of you, like, really speaking in tongues. All right? And this is important. Communication with God is important. Right? The Bible says um, in Amos that, that, that the Lord doesn't do anything in the earth without telling it to a man first, without telling to, to a prophet first. Okay? So the Lord is, is he's adamant about getting what he needs to us. Okay? Now, it's important that we have to, it's important to communicate with each other. Okay? Why? Because life is a people's business. When you're dealing with Jesus, right, it's, it's, you have to deal with people. People that you don't like. People that you don't want to talk to. I don't know why I'm going this way. Right? Family members. Bums on the street. Crackheads. Okay, all these people, right, they need Jesus just as much as we do, right? And, but someone has to get Jesus to them. Okay, so it's very important, right? The, 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 the Bible says as it, as it goes through the, the armor of God, right, it, it talks about um, the boots of salvation. No, that, that's a bit, the, the boots of peace, right? And cause it's a boat of salvation. I want, Lord help me. Um, <laughs> um, so it's the boots of peace, right? And it, it says that who's going to receive this, right? Unless somebody is, is walking, to the, walking to people to, to give them peace. Right? So it's important, right? We, important to communicate with God, communicate with each other, right? Amen. Glory to God, Anna. <laughs> And then we have to communicate with the devil, okay? This doesn't mean that we worship the devil, right? Because it, it, it doesn't make sense, right? If, if we casting out the devil and we worship the devil, that's, that's kind of contradictory, right? It's, it's, it's a contradiction, right? Jesus said himself, right, a, a kingdom against itself shall not stand, right? So if we, if we praise in the name of God, casting out demons, but yet still worshiping demons, it doesn't make sense because, we're, you know, it's, it's, not, it's against itself, right? But we have to talk to the devil, right, to let him know that first off, we have the victory, okay? I want you guys to understand that. As, as believers in Jesus, we have the victory over our fears, right, over our addictions, over our proclivities, over our family generational curses, right, we, we have the victory, right, he has o- overcame, all right, so, so we have the victory, in the end we win, right, but it's the process in which we get there that's very important, right, that's why, that's why the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice, Right, you can you you know some of you guys are gonna be super wealthy right soon, um, but but giving money right instead of obedience doesn't mean anything to God. Right, giving your time instead of obedience doesn't mean anything to God. Right, giving your excuse me, giving your presence right giving your presence to people, right? Because sometimes you, you don't need to talk to people, but just, you know, being around, right? People think you about something, right? If, if you guys see me, see me with Jay-Z, you'd be like, oh, you know Jay-Z? I'm like, nah, I don't know Jay-Z. He was just, you know, standing where I was standing. You're like, you know what I mean? So some, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes your, your presence, right? Um, amen. Your, your, your presence, right, is, is not better than obedience to God, okay? So, going back to the word of the year, right, communication is, is a very important, and th- this is what we're focusing on this year, because we want to see the Lord move in our lives, okay? 
the Lord wants to show us how personal, personable he is and how clear he can speak to us. Okay, but we just have to attune our ears to what he's saying. Amen? Amen. All right. So now with that foundation now, right, anybody remember the message, uh, the, the name of this series that we're in? Talk to me nice. Talk to me. Talk to me, baby. Say, stay say, Talk to me. Talk. Yeah, I remember that from uh, the Goofy movie. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, baby. Yo. Um, <laughs> you remember the part where he had like like the, the cheese in a bottle? He was like, it's the leaning cha- the, the leaning tower of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> the goofy movie. Woo. Okay. All right. <laughs> so talk to me nice, right? Talk to me nice means the good news. Okay? It means to show respect, to tell someone or something good news, right? And last week we spoke about the truth of God and what it means to you. Um, and we're going to continue down that path, okay? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna continue to learn about Jesus and journey what it means to um, really know the gospel, right? Because it, it's, it's a very pivotal um, in our journey as a Christian, right? As a believer in Jesus, right? If we don't know the gospel, then we don't know the Bible, Okay, because everything points to Jesus or looks back to Jesus. Okay, and as you guys read the Bible, right, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna see these things called shadows, shadows, right? So, um, what do I mean by that? So, for instance, right, um, Jacob, right, the coat of many colors. Okay, I'm just testing y'all, testing y'all, see what's up, right? Now, his life, Joseph, 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 Joseph. See, see, come on, y'all, come on, come on, y'all, That's a, come on. <laughs> Joseph, right, he had the many colors, right, his, his, his situation with his brothers, right, was a form, or a shadow, rather, of Jesus, right, how he, how he died, right, innocently, or not died, but how they came against him innocently is, is a shadow of what was going to happen to Jesus, Right. So as you read um, in the Old Testament, you're going to you're going to see these shadows of 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 Jesus. And even in the New Testament. Right. You're going to you're going to see people point back to the gospel and in the Old Testament to give the revelation of how the Old Testament was a shadow. Parts of the Old Testament was a shadow of the gospel and that sort of thing. Make sense. Okay. All right. So today, I want to talk to you about the power of the gospel. Somebody say the power of the gospel. Okay. The power of the gospel. Um, no, it's just not working. But it's okay. I'm going to just go from memory. Um, the power of the gospel. Okay. Hebrews, I believe, 4 and 12. Hebrews 4 and 12. Let's go there. No, that's not the armor. Okay, I want to I want to give you this verse real quick, okay? For the word of God is living, is powerful, is sharper than two any two-edged sword, piercing even the division between soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow. Okay, so I, I want you to see how specific it is, right? It's a, as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. There is no creation hidden from his sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him. Who is him? God, the Lord, right? To him to whom we must give an account, right? Um, and to open this up, right? One of one of the one of the things that I find just interesting about the Lord, right? One of the ways he he does this, right? How all things are open to him. At least with I I I I I frame it this way. At least with humans, right? The Bible says that there are angels writing down every outer word that we say. Okay, so it's very important. Right to 
to follow closely to the Bible, or not the Bible, but to Jesus' life as you can, right? You want to sound like him, right? You want to act like him. You want to um, be like him. You want to be like you want to be like Jesus, okay? And I'm going somewhere with this, okay? So let's go to John eight. John eight, and we'll start at verse one, okay? And I'm halfway done through my message. Y'all. We're gonna get out really early today. What's up, brother? How you doing? <laughs> Miss Miss Anna, trust me, I'm not I'm not all. <laughs> I was sure last week it's going to be even shorter today. <laughs> um, okay, everybody there? John 8, chapter 1? Um, okay, I'm reading, I'm reading from the New Living. Uh, no, I'm sorry, the New King James Version. New King Jimmy. All right. All right, but Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Okay. Now, early in the morning, he came into the temple, and all the people came to him. Right? He sat down and he taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees, okay, very important, right? Especially the scribes, brought <clears throat> to him a woman caught in the uh, in adultery. Everybody know what adultery means, right? Okay. Want me to break it? Down? Y'all know what adultery is, right? Okay, I'm right now. Break it. So adultery, adultery, right? <laughs> is when a man or a woman right, is sleeping with um, another's, like, like a married person, to, to, put it, to, put it, uh, <laughs> to put it plainly, okay? When a man or a woman is sleeping with a married person, right, that, that they're not married to, right? That's probably half of daytime TV. <laughs> half of the novellas and everything, you know. <laughs> that's the storyline right there. <laughs> this is the storyline, okay? Um, and when they had set her in the midst, they said to him, Jesus, teacher, this woman was caught in, a, in adultery in the very act. So that means she was throwing it back and they caught her. Okay. They, he, she was throwing it back. Look back at it. Look back. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, verse, verse 5. Now Moses, in the law, commanded us, right? These are the, the, um, the, the scribes and the Pharisees talking, right? In the law, commanded us that such should be stoned, right? But what do you say? Okay, they said this testing Jesus, that they might have something which to accuse him. Okay, like you see how slick they is, right? <laughs> but Jesus stooped down, suave as he is, and wrote on the ground with his with his finger, as though he did not hear. Verse seven. When they continued asking him, he raised himself up and said to them, "He who is without sin among you, let." him throw a stone at her first, okay? And I, I'm going to read verse 8, and I, I never read, or verse 9, rather, and I've never seen this before. And he stooped down again and, and wrote on the ground. Then those who heard it, watch this, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest, even to the last, in other words, the youngest. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman was standing in the midst. When Jesus had raised himself up and saw no one but the woman, he said to her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, She said, All right, y'all, come on. Um, And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Then Jesus spoke to him, saying, again, saying, I am the light. Now Jesus is talking to the the, the Pharisees and the scribes, okay? Then Jesus spoke to them, saying, again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. 
Okay. Father, give me wisdom to break this down. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Okay. Let's, let's, let's go to work a little bit. Okay. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. All right. So now, the first thing I want you guys to understand about this text is that it's interesting that the scribes and the Pharisees brought up the law of Moses, right? At this point in time, right, we're years, at least a thousand years, right, from the time of Moses, right? But they're Jews, right? So they still follow the laws of Moses. They, they still follow the laws, uh, the Levitical laws, um, because that's just their culture and that sort of thing, right? But during this time, right, the law of the land, right, was Roman, was, was the Roman Empire, right? And so Roman law ruled this time, okay? So one of the, the interesting thing about the, the Roman laws at the time, right, is that when it came to adultery, right, adultery was only for the women in the land. There was only a consequence for the women. But for men, it wasn't that so. There was no such thing, right? The law gave people the right to condemn and to stone, right? What, what it means to con condemn is to, is to accuse somebody of a, a, of, a, a, of a bad act. That's all condemnation is, right, is to, to accuse somebody, okay? So it's, it's interesting, right, that not only the scribes and the Sadducees came to Jesus with this woman, right? Because although they, tr they presented Jesus with a, um, um, a plot, right? The law of Moses says this, this lady right here she should be stoned because she, had, she committed adultery. What they, what they was really trying to do is try to catch Jesus in a lie or catch Jesus being lackadaisical on, on, on a Roman law. And they could have used that against them. Okay? So the, my first point is, right, the power of the gospel is strong enough to come against condemnation and malintent. Okay? That's, my note says something like that. All right? So condemnation and malintent. Okay? Right, I want you guys to understand, right, that when you have the understanding of what Jesus did on the cross, nothing can hold you down. What happened in the past, right? What what people do, what people say about you, all that stuff is null and void. Is null and void. Even the things that you think and say about yourself. It cancels out, cancels out because of the blood of Jesus. Pray for me now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Try not to die up here. <laughs> All right. So I I I I just the, like this last two weeks is, is really I, I really want to just lay a foundation and really teach you guys so that way. When low moments come, right, when trials and tribulations come, you something stands up in you, and you remember these messages, okay? So, so when, when, you, when you feel bad, right, or when you, when you feel down, right, because of what you did, and, you know, that this whole monologue comes between yourself or you and another voice, right? Because sometimes it's, it is your conscience, like the Bible says, right? This dialogue happens, right? You're able to, you're able to, like Hebrews 4 says, right? You're able to discern thoughts, right? And you're able to identify what's from Jesus, what's from the Lord, and what's from not Jesus. Amen? Okay. Now, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. My second point is the power of the gospel. 
is a revealer of truth. Okay? The power of the gospel is a revealer of truth. Okay? Let me, let me, let me do it this way. Okay? Let me break it down this way. Okay, so... Verse seven. So when he when he continued asking, uh, so when they continued asking them, he raised himself up and said to them, "He was without sin among you. Let him throw the first stone at her." And he stooped back down, wrote on the ground. And then, who heard it, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning from the oldest to the least. We'll stop right there. Okay. So now this shows me, right? Old people or older people, <laughs> right? They. We know they have history, right? They, they've been up the street. They've been up the block, right? But young people, people who hasn't experienced life yet, people who haven't, aren't able to understand right and wrong in that moment was able to identify with what Jesus said and walk away. Okay, that that's that's that tells me right how powerful the gospel is, right? That that it doesn't matter, right? The age, the creed, right? Anybody is able to be affected about by the gospel. Okay, so I so and so how does this apply to you? Let me, let me do it this way, right? Now, if you if you are right talking to people, right? Um, and you hear crazy stuff, right? Yeah, I was sleeping with Laura and Lindsay the other day, and, and they was trying to do some stuff, and I was like, nah, that's not it, but I was still trying to sleep with them anyway, right? <laughs> right? You, you, should, you should have enough word in you, enough Bible in you to be able to, to discern, right, the truth of what they're saying. Okay, because sometimes, and this is this is kind of getting into my next point, right? One of the things that Jesus did in this, right? He he didn't he didn't he he never said anything about her sin, right? He he didn't say anything about her sin. He never he never scolded her about having sex, right? Having sex because we don't know if she's married or not, right? Or um, yeah, we don't know if she's married or not, right? Two, right? She's she's having sex with a person that's not her husband, right? And the Lord didn't say anything about this, right? So, as uh, having the, the the power of the gospel, right? You you should you should ha- you should communicate with the Lord enough to really be able to to dis- to have the truth and see through what what people are saying. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Um, um, where do I want to go? Um, and this, this is, I got two more points, and then I'm, I'm going to be done. So I'm halfway with that with my message. Okay. My third point is that the power of the gospel will always be, would, would always be greater than darkness. Okay, the power of of the gospel will always be greater than darkness. No matter what you see in the world, right? Well, no matter what you see on campus, right? The power of Jesus, right? Saying, "I am the light of the world. Whoever whoever shall follow me will not walk in darkness, but will have light. Will have the light of life." That's that's a statement. That's an absolute truth. Okay, so you could be in a full depressing state right now, right? But you have the light of life in the inside, okay? And my last point, right, is that the power of gospel, it corrects, but it doesn't expose. Okay, you, you can stop playing with you. I'm, I'm done. It corrects, but it doesn't expose. Okay? On both sides, right? When the Lord said, 
and if you were without sin, throw the first, first stone. He was able to correct them without exp exposing their sin. He was able to correct them without exposing their sin. Right? They could have, somebody could have killed the whole man. Hiya! Killed a whole man. <laughs> right? Chop their neck off. <laughs> Chopped their whole neck off, right? But he corrected them without exposing them. <laughs> right? And, and even, with, even with the adulterous woman, right? He corrected her without exposing her. Here's the crazy thing. But she was exposed. What I, she was caught in the act of adultery. So that means she was boobies out, booty out, in front of Jesus, in front of parents and kids, right? But Jesus, at, at the same time that she was exposed, she was, he was able, the Lord was able to correct her without exposing her. Okay. Um, so can we just all stand real quick? Like I said, a short, a short message today. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. Thank you. Thank you so much, Zion. So I just want to encourage you, all right? And I, I want to I wanna encourage you guys that the Bible has power. You have to use it. Okay, you you have to you have to. If you look at Jesus, right, when he went to the when he went into the wilderness after his fast for forty days and forty nights, um, when the devil started to tempt him, the thing that he used was the word. Right, man shall not live on bread alone. Right? Don't tempt the Lord God. So you, you guys have to use the word of God. But first it has to be there. Okay? There is, there, there is power in the word. There is power in the gospel. But in order for you to obtain and access that power, it has to be there in the first place. Okay? So now next week, because the Lord already kind of showed me, and I want I want to I want you guys to prepare for next week. I'm gonna call some of you guys out. <laughs> I'm gonna call some of you guys out, and I'm gonna show you this power that I'm talking about today. Okay, I'm gonna show you this power that I'm talking about today. Right, the Bible says that we all, right, if you if you if you place right your your belief in Jesus, right and you give your life to Christ, and you confess your, your sins, and you believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, right? He gives you his spirit. Right. Now, along with this gift, right, along with, with the gift of the Holy Spirit, right, there is, there is gifts that comes with this, with, with the Holy Spirit. And Every single one of you guys, not just me, not just Tim, not just Anna, not just Michelle, right? Not just Alexis, or not just Alexis, that's Alexis, have access to this power. Everyone, everyone has access to this power. So I want you guys to prepare, okay? I want you guys to, some of you guys, I feel like the Lord is going to put you on a, on a fast for like two days, <laughs> some of you the Lord is going to just have you pray at weird times in the morning and at night but all of this right all of this is, is, is to prepare you for what's going to happen next week you guys are going to be amazed how the Lord uses you Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come at Bible study, uh, 
I hope that the Lord is pushing us in a different way, that we're going to follow the Lord. It won't be this short, like tonight. But it's going to be impactful and memorable. Okay? So now I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this call for prayer, and then we'll see how the Lord moves. Okay, so now this week, right, I, I, think, I think one of the reasons why I feel like the Lord had me in this passage of Scripture is because I feel like some of you guys are really dealing with lust. Right? Some of you guys are really distant dealing with lust. Some of you guys are just giving in all the way. But other you guys, some of you guys are, are really struggling in your mind, okay? Um, and I want to pray for you guys because sometimes it's not always our doing, right? But it's something that's within us, right? That, that needs prayer, that needs encouragement to, to help us to not do certain things. Okay. So right now I want everybody just to repent. Right, if you're that person who's been dealing with lust, just say, Lord, I'm sorry for being a, a lust bucket, a horn dog. Looking at these pictures, images, videos, or just indulging all the way. <laughs> but honestly, repent. And after this prayer, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. After this prayer, the first thing you're going to notice is a, a sharpness in focus. Okay? I, one of the things, right, um, like I, I do, well, let me, before I get into this, let me share, let me expose myself, right? Some of, when I was younger, you know, I, I dealt with porn, right? I dealt with porn, watching porn. And I'm going to just tell y'all, right? It, it wasn't just straight porn, but it was gay porn, right? Even, even, right, with sexuality, dealing with people, right? It, I wasn't, and even now, right, I'm not attracted just to girls, right? I'm attracted to guys and that sort of thing, right? And I've had, I've had experiences with both parties. No animals. <laughs> Thank the Lord, no animals. But <laughs> thank the Lord, no animals. But some people are into that, man. I tell you, I tell you, man. I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and it's a struggle. Honestly, it's a struggle, right? Our, our, our one of our founders, Freedom, right? He he comes up here and he tells you guys how he struggles, how he used to be out here, all the way out here, right? And I'm not out here. I'd be on the DL. I'd be on the D. I'd be on the D. Like it. the Lord, the Lord Himself has to come to you and let you know what I'd be doing, because I will do a whole slew of stuff, and then come right. I come right to church on post, right? But the reason why I'm telling you this, right, is because that that's a real issue, and you there's a a purity and a grace that that you can't achieve unless this thing is dealt with, right? And and for some of you, right, it's not it's not it's like sex is not the act itself, right? Is is not the act of pleasure, right? But it's it's the the act of con companionship. Some of you guys just you know want to be with somebody because you, you didn't get what you needed to get at home, right? Which is a very natural feeling. Other, other you guys, right, some of y'all, right, are, was rejected. 
right? You didn't, you didn't have a lot of friends in high school and elementary. So, so, so your way of being wanted to be accepted is to have these encounters with people or to, to be able to share like, oh yeah, I did this, what you do? Like, you know what I mean? I, I'm sorry, I'll be going in and out, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just go in and out sometimes. <laughs> but that's, that's how, this is like, you know, I'm, I'm, being, I'm being honest, right? I'm being honest, right? Even, even to, to, to share the extent of my, of my um, you know, just my, my lust, right? There's times where I like sleep, so I, I wasn't spending the whole night <laughs> watching porn and, or trying to get you know some booty or, or something like that. But you know, I'm 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 going above and beyond, right? Above and beyond to get what I want, right? But the Lord wants to do with that tonight. Lord wants to do with that tonight. So if you're dealing with that, just come up. Okay? There's no condemnation. There's no condemnation. Right? There's no condemnation. There's no condemnation in Jesus Christ. If you're dealing with that, just come up. And some of y'all are not slick either. It's some of y'all are super sexual mentally. Some of y'all are super sexual mentally. You see a guy who looks fine, a nice tall glass of water, you undressing him in your mind. Fellas, you you see a girl with a big booty, you just wanna wanna know how that thing shake. I'm I'm sorry, I'm I'm being honest. These are the thoughts. These are the thoughts y'all thinking. Okay. So can, can I just come closer? Just come. We don't got COVID, y'all. No, just, just come close so I know who's you. I'm sorry. Could you just come right here, please? Right here. So the first thing I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna um, just just encourage you guys for your 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 vulnerability and your your honesty right now in this moment. So right now in this moment, I want you guys to make a a promise, a covenant with the Lord of just one thing that you will never do again. Just one thing. All I'm asking is one thing. Right? If, it, if you sleep with four people a week, Lord, I'm going to sleep with three people a week. It's not going to go past three. Right? If you, if you masturbate every day, Lord, I'm going to masturbate just Monday through Friday. I'm being, I'm being, how a, how a smoker gets off, gets off smoking, he keeps smoking. He wanes himself, or he continues to smoke. So right now in this moment, right now in this moment, in all honesty and truth, Zotara da la la banzo frete bestia. Zote kunzote da la brada da banzo frete bestia. Vete kushia vada manzo frete bestia. Vete kunzote da banzo frete bestia. Zote mandanda da kunja da pastia. Rete stu kunja da banzo taba. Zovra da la sta frete bestia. Right now, 
Rete konza tabanzo vrete lelea. Rete Steve vrete benzite amanso. Vrete tan zete keshe bestia. Vrete konza te bestia. Rete tataman zete bleche vrete lea manzo fetia. Tete kushia rete de benzi vrete ble anso te konza te bestufia. Vrete zete etushia. Vutanda blete sto kove. Zutata Mansa, but to the Konzata Bastia, help me out, help me out. The two Konzata Banzo Frete Bestu. I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the right moment. Some of you guys haven't, haven't really released everything yet. Come on. Make that promise. Make that promise. He sees through all the insecurity. He sees through all the pain. He sees through all the, 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 the desires, the lustful desires. He sees through all of that. But he sees through all of that. Vritukunza Vritza Bestia Vritukunza Tata Banzo Vritia Vutostia Retestia Vritukushia Bandanta Banzo Vritza Bestia Shutukustia Manan Stovrita Bestia Tukunza Vritza Bestia Zaya, just shake my hand, shake my hand. Just wanna, just wanna encourage you. I wanna encourage you. Just wanna encourage you. Find your wife soon. Zitaman Zataban Sofrit Bestia Zitaban Zofrit Bestia. You will find your wife soon. I don't know if it was a dream. Zitaman Nan Sofrit Bestia. I don't know if it was a dream or a vision that you had, but like I see like this this whole spread that you and your wife had made and having people over in your house and that sort of thing. Atta, that will come soon. Tunja vrita bashto, vrita kanzata basha vrita bashtiya. And I come against this voice that plagues you at night. But tonja to bestia, zutu setia bata. I come against it right now. That that discourages you. Oh, you should just go back to go back home. You're not doing nothing here. I come against it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Tosa Tabanzo Bria Zutabasto Retebia Giradalanzo Fritzebestia But Tosta Retabanzia Ho Fritzebestia Zevretebestia I'm 
Stand up, let's stand up, let's worship the Lord right now in this moment. Let's worship, raise your hands. Oh, the ta 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 man so
Let me perfume real quick. I can perfume. What's up, yeah? Right? Good to see you, brother. All right, all right. We're strong, brother. All right now. All right. So we just got my hand. Just got my hand. Just got my hand. All right. Like you, like you can like give me like grab my hand. Yeah, I, I got you. I, I know you big and all, but I, I, I'm right here. I'm good. Um. I'm trying to be sensitive, but um, one of you guys are a dreamer that just walked out. The Lord is going to visit you. Um, but it's, it's father issues. Like as soon as soon as you touch my hand, I, I heard the Lord say daddy issues. Okay. Okay. Daddy issues. Not it wasn't father. It wasn't papa. It was it was daddy issues. Okay. Tenzo Toshia. Zufra Taban Zufa Tenzo Tama. So I'm gonna tell you what the Lord is gonna do. Okay. Like, like you can stay there. You can stay right there. I'm sorry. <laughs> stay right. I, I know you're not used to this. I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what the Lord is gonna do. Okay. Are you, are you really earnest about this change? Are you really like, do you really want to change? Like on a scale from one to ten. That's how you go. Okay. So, the first thing that's gonna happen is a change in your mindset. Okay. The things that you was attracted to, and you know, that caught your attention, that's not going to happen anymore. Okay? There's a, there's a, and I know there's a lot of things that catches your attention. And like, like you don't, you don't, there's something, like there's many a times that, like you don't even mean to like look at it. But it just, trust me, I, I, I get you, bro. Because like, it, it, it'd be times I'd be in the city, girl with a booty walk by, I'm like, out my peripheral. Out my peripheral. But, um, there, there, like that that stuff is going to start to wane away okay and the lord wants to show you self discipline in a new way okay zatamban ton jofretia shevra i don't i don't know I, I i hear the lord says build with me like you build your body but build with build with me Build with the Lord, okay. Just how just how you you work out and you're very regimented. Be the same way with the Lord, okay. Be the same way with the Lord. And the books that's gonna come out from you is gonna be crazy. A lot of like this, the books you're gonna write a lot of books. I, I don't I don't know what this thing about writing is, okay. But from from the for the next six years if you are regimented with the Lord your life you would like you're not even going to imagine what the Lord would do with you and your heart was broken Something, something with your family breaking your heart. It wasn't, it wasn't a relationship, but it was a something within the family dynamic that happened. And I, I don't know if he was thinking about it this week, but like, like, like you know when things started going left. It's 
and I, so I'm gonna, this is the last thing. I'm going to encourage you. If you close the door, the Lord will handle it. Okay? If, if you come close to the Lord, he will come close to you. Okay? If you come close to the Lord, he will come close to you. Close the door, and the Lord will be there to help you through each and every stage. Okay? There's stages that's going to happen. Okay? But you have to close the door. I'm sorry, let me just touch your head. I feel like the Lord wants to. Zitamanzo. Bosso Vretaba. Sura la la banzo Vretabestia.
Was that, was that, did that push you or anything like that? No? Okay. I just want to. All right. That's the Lord touching you. Okay. You're going to remember this day. But have a conversation with your father. Okay. Have a conversation. There's a, a lot of stuff you guys need to hash out. Okay. And I say that as I need to talk to my father. Okay. There's a lot of stuff I have to hash out with him. Okay. Can you, can everybody just lift your hands? Just lift your hands. Nervance, um, th this block is, this creative block is, uh, is not for no reason. Okay. I, I feel like it's like you're just having a hard time, like, producing. Um, but it's not for no reason. Just accept it for a season. Let the Lord speak to you. Let, like, like commune with the Lord for a season. Okay? Right? Uh, you, you don't have to stay. <laughs> if you want to go back to you, you don't have to stay there if you don't want to. Okay? If you want to, if you, if you feel like you need to be there, go ahead, brother. <laughs> um, but open up your palette of music so this is this is what I feel okay open up your palette of music okay open up your palette of music open up your palette of music this there's a You ever been to like a like a record shop before, like a like a record? Nah. Okay. I, you, I, how how I, like how I'm seeing it? Like I, I see I see you get, taking this entrance, interest, and like it's almost like sampling. And I, like I see you going to. Like di like different record shops, just going going through music. Yeah, I like this, but I don't like that. Excuse me. Oh yeah, this can go over this, and it's gonna open you up. It's gonna open you up. It's gonna open you up. But accept this season right now. Accept this season. And I want you to have a conversation with Michelle, but like, almost, like, like I see what what's happening to Michelle. The same thing is gonna happen with you. You're gonna you're gonna make a decision to really follow Jesus, and it's, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna just ruffle some feathers at home. Okay. But people's hearts and minds are gonna be turned towards you because you have the truth. You, you're gonna have the truth, but accept the season. And I see this prayer that went up. Ten tempo sofre I see this prayer that went up. The kanza tempo sofre tebestia. Just accept the season, okay? Just accept the season. Okay. Uh, every, I'm gonna, you're going to be surprised how quickly everything opens up for you. Just accept this season. Let the Lord deal with you. Let the Lord change you. And you, you're going to be glad that you went through this block. Okay? You're going to be glad that you went through this block. Okay. 
for you. Whatever you're doing is working. Okay, I want you to come. Whatever you're doing is working. Okay. Uh, can, we, can we just all stand? We, we're about to get up out of here. We are about to get up out of here. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We praise your name. Before I, I, I pray out and do everything, um, can we give a hand clap for our founder who just walked in with his slippers, toes out? Amen. God bless you, Freedom. Without, without this man, Jasmine, Jairus, right, none of this would be possible. What, what you see what's happening here will not be possible. Just everybody just lift your hands and start praying. I feel this move that's about to happen. And come up, come up real quick, Anna. Come on, pray, pray, pray. Open up your mouth and pray. Don't know what to say. Just begin to bless the Lord. Begin to bless him. Just say, Lord, you are good. Lord, you are wonderful. Lord, you are mighty. We worship you. We magnify you. We lift up your name. 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 Father, we magnify you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we lift your name high. We lift your name high in the mighty name of Jesus. We, you will be magnified here on campus. Lord, hallelujah. God, we thank you. We thank you for tonight, Father. We thank you for the word that went out, Father. We thank you that it landed on fertile ground, God. And we pray, Father, that we will go out and share your word, God. We pray right now over everyone in this room that they will have a safe drive heading home, Father God. I pray, Father, that your spirit will follow them wherever they go, God. We ask right now that you will dispatch your angels as they go forward, Father. I thank you, God, for this new season that they're walking into, this new season of change, of transformation. So, God, we thank you that they will not revert back to old ways, Father, because they're putting on new wineskins, Father. They're walking forward. They're walking in victory. We thank you, God, for everything that you've done tonight for your people, God. And we pray right now, Father God, that you will stir up the fire that's within them, Father. Stir it up. Stir up their gifts, Father God, that they will go out, Father, and lay hands on the sick and lay hands on their family and watch them get healed. We thank you, Father, for the prophets that's in this room, the teachers that's in this room.
this moment, but it, it follows us wherever we go, in our cars, wherever we are. Let it not just be this moment. Let it be everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, God. In Jesus' name. I feel, I feel like we need to... We need to come together and worship before we walk out of here. I just heard a chant and the worship team was singing it. I want us all to join in on it. We out of here. The reason why I feel this, I feel like we need to seal something that happened tonight. I wasn't even here. I don't know what word was that went forth. I don't know what happened in here. I'm getting a lot of feedback. But there's something that we need to seal in this presence, all right?
something for me. Keep going. I need you to do something for me. It's gonna seem a little weird. I promise you, I'll explain that. But on the count of three, I just need you to just shout. Just the top of your lungs, just shout. All right? One, two, three. Shout. Sometimes you just gotta shout. The Bible says before there's a move of God, there comes a sound. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus. Before God poured out his spirit, there was a sound of a rushing mighty wind. In the woods, the Bible said there was a sound going on the top of the mulberry trees before God gave him a victory. Before the walls of Jericho came down, there was a shout. One more time like you mean it. One, two, three. time for victory and time to invade. And God said, all oh, y'all just shout. As strange as it seems, no words. There's power in your 
Focus on the Lord. You have my attention, God. You have my attention, God. You have my attention. My devotion, God, and all that you feel, all that you find, Lord, you can have it, this heart of mine, and when you speak, I will respond, for my heart is open, and your will be mine. You have. Just singing out to the Father, you have my attention, God. Now's your time. Connect with the Father in your own way. So here is my, here is my devotion, God, and all that you feel, all that you find, Lord, you can have it, this heart of mine, and when you speak, I will respond, for my heart is open. Your will be mine one more time. And when you I will respond for my heart is open. Your will be mine. All that you find. Lord, you can have it. This heart of mine. Your servant, I'm listening. Oh, speak, God. Your servant, I'm listening. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Your servant, I'm listening. Talk to the Lord. I'm listening. I'm listening. Whatever you ask from me, I'm listening. I'm listening. Hey, I'm listening. And here's the cry. Oh, 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 oh. My heart is open, oh, 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 my heart is open, oh, 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 my heart is open, so see what it is, oh, 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 oh. Brandon alluded to it earlier. Keep saying it. 
Bible says. How you doing? <laughs> oh, no, you're shy. It's all right. But the Bible says the Spirit makes intercession for us. Pretty much the Spirit of God is praying for us. Uh, turn me up a little bit, nervous. <laughs> the Spirit is praying for us because, as we know, there's plenty of times where you can just sit there and pray and I don't know what to say, God. Um, for me personally, I'm kind of there now. It's weird because I just kind of sit there just for a while. I'm like, God, I don't even know what to pray at the moment. Like, I'm just kind of, I'm here. <laughs> I think one thing personally I'm kind of relearning is relearning how much of a father God really is. I'm blessed to have a really good father. And the best moments I've had with him really weren't saying much. Just being around. There's something about just being in your father's presence. And especially for those of us who work in ministry, because a lot of the times you get so into the, the church and the, okay, God needs me to do this. He needs me to do that. He needs me to be here. He needs me to be there. When the first priority is God just needs you. This O in the song, just singing O, it's not words, but it's a moment just to say, God, I'm here. No fancy words. God, I'm just here. not necessarily looking for anything just what's up I'm here it's good to see you again it's good to spend time with you again just take a sec just sit in his presence crazy so um praise the lord everybody i don't know why i feel like i need to say this now but um i'm not being super spiritual or anything just straight up bible study is over um i do want to speak to the leaders real quick um as as soon as I rise out, but how many of us like really enjoy Bible study here on campus? <laughs> Who really can say like their lives have been genuinely impacted? They have grown spiritually. This is their first time having a real walk with the Lord, and it started right here at Mercy College at these Bible studies. If that's the case, I want to challenge you. Next week, don't come to Bible study if you don't have somebody with you. I might be here, I might not, I'll be watching online. If, you don't, if you're not bringing somebody with you to Bible study, you are failing as a Christian. And that sounds horrible, and that I might be offending you, but at this point, I really don't care. Uh, I've been doing it about the 7 to 12 years, so at this point, I really don't care. Um, and the reason why I'm saying this is because if your life has been truly impacted by the gospel of Jesus Christ, you then have a responsibility to introduce others. To quickly say without preaching, 
Jesus met a lady at the well. She was a whore. Can I just be straight up about it? And that whore met Jesus. We don't know. The Bible says she went and sinned no more, but that, that's a un- different understanding than how we understand to sin no more. That's a whole different teaching discussion. We don't know if she went back to bed with somebody that wasn't her husband. We don't know if she went back to her whorish ways. All we know is that she went back to a city and talked to every about, everybody about the man that she met at the well. And a revival took place. So the call to, invite, to inviting people to Bible study, to church and things like that is not saying you need to get your life together. That's going to come in time as you build a relationship with God through the Holy Spirit. Your call to draw others to the Lord goes beyond your struggle. It goes beyond how you feel about yourself. If you truly believe that Jesus is Lord and that he changes lives, then you need to bring as many people as you can to these type of experiences. I don't know what happened before I got here, but we watched the move of the Lord happen just like that. How many people on campus are struggling with depression, suicidal thoughts, coming from traumatic backgrounds, experiencing trauma and all these things? Some of them are commuting. And just you, hey, there's a Bible study on campus. Do you want to come? Statistics say everybody, every 99, at least nine, no, 75% of people that are invited to church come. That's a huge percentage. So if if people don't come to church that normally don't go to church, the reason why they don't come is because they haven't been invited. So that means that we as believers are failing somewhere because we don't really believe what we say we believe. So our personal lives have to be, has to produce that. So I want to challenge each and everybody from, from, from the, from the stage all the way to the back. If you believe that these Bible studies are powerful and impactful, I'm challenging you to bring at least one person with you next week I'm not the leader of this campus ministry but I'm going to just say I'm going to say this I'm sorry Brandon but I don't want to see you here if you don't bring people to Bible study because now I'm seeing I'm seeing repetitive faces which is fine that's great now that I know that you're committed to this Bible study and you come every week cool I'm expecting you not to return here without a person okay And I'm only saying that from my experience. When we were here on campus having Bible studies, we promoted to the students, the faculty, and professors. And we had students, faculty, staff, and professors in our Bible study. And the president came to our revival. And he got up and gave us a word. So I know what I'm saying works. Because we used to have Bible study in here when I was a student, and we would be full. So I'm challenging you guys to really step into that role as living evangelists on this campus, because that's exactly who you are. Don't just succumb to a goer and just somebody that comes to take up a seat. You're missing the fulfillment that God has for you, and you'll never find your call and your purpose that way. You find your purpose and your call outside of these meetings as you stretch yourself and challenge yourself. Okay, so I want to make sure that I'm relaying that to you guys. And for those of you guys that may not be officially a part of the ministry, we need hands. We need hands and minds. And if you're not a part, if you want to join an organization on campus, Help Ministries is a perfect organization to join. And we would love to have your help and support, honestly. So if you're interested in being a part of this ministry, please make sure you speak with our uh, ministry leader or our assistant lead, uh, Brandon or or Tim. Please speak to them directly because we want to make sure that we're getting you guys involved. We we do setup. We do breakdown. We need people handling hospitality, greeting, stuff like that. We're we're building with our media. We're streaming online every Wednesday night. And we're having three meetings each a week. So we need hands. And we don't, want it, we don't want it to continue being the people that have been leading because they're old. It's time to raise up another team. It's time to raise up another team. They're old. They're not even students no more. I don't want them to be like me. I stayed here at least 
what, 11 years before I was on this campus for 11 years. And when Anna came, I got a little bit relief because I didn't have to teach every single Bible study. <laughs> I didn't have to teach every single Bible study. And then Brandon came, poured into him and everything, poured into the team to prepare for the day where I only have to speak maybe once or twice a year, which is a blessing. So now it's time to raise up another team so that they can move on and do what God has planned for them. And I, I, I'm going I'm, to I'm share this with you guys to give you a glimpse of the direction that God wants to take. This is training ground. L- literally. This was my training ground and still is. From here, God brought me to the tabernacle of prayer where I served, still serve. To the point where I'm, I was serving at three different churches. So I'm serving at my home church. I was serving at a United Methodist Church. And now I'm serving at a, a church of the Nazarene, helping them build a young adult ministry, doing what I did here, there. And now I just started, now I'm the head chaplain at Children's Village, down the block from Mercy College. Do, y'all, do you think that's by mistake? I'm literally running an entire church on campus. That's not by mistake. The Lord prepared me from here to do that. And they're looking at me to bring what we started here to that campus. So how you serve here and how you get involved here, it's preparing you for where you're going. I don't want you guys to miss out on what God has for you. Just be okay with coming and attending Bible study. Nah, we want you apart and we want you growing spiritually, all right? That's it. I could keep talking because that's, that's my type of talking language. But um, I think Tim has something to say. But when y- y'all finish up, I, I do need to speak with the leaders real quick. Okay, so um, just basic, you know, housekeeping stuff. First off, um, giving. Um, if you have cash, you can put it here. I'm not going to, you know, romanticize it. We got a bunch of stuff we got to buy. Um, this, you know, a lot of the stuff is the school stuff, but think about going to other campuses and doing the outside of mercy events and stuff like that we just need money to buy equipment and stuff like that like stuff's expensive just being real too so if you have to give you know if you have cash you can put it right here if you have cash app um a cash app is dollar sign help m-i-n um so yeah i'm not gonna lie to you i, I can never remember the name of the website HelpMinistriesNY.org. Yes. I, I promise you, I will never remember the name to that website. <laughs> one day, one day. It ain't going to be today, though. Um, <laughs> um, we got prayer on Tuesdays at 7 on Zoom. Uh, once again, you can visit our Instagram, Help Ministries, to find the link to that. It's over Zoom, as well as the website. It'll be on there. On Thursdays in room 213, we have the exchange, which is kind of like a Bible study, kind of, but we just kind of talk to each other. Like, and especially, like, I don't know if y'all like me, but when I read the Bible, I be having questions. <laughs> like, with the scripture Brandon brought up, like, I got, like, five questions that just popped up out of nowhere. Like, first off, how did they know she was in the middle of adultery? That's question number one. <laughs> <laughs> Two, why did they not bring the guy and the girl? That's Leviticus 20 says both of them are supposed to be stoned. They both supposed to die. Unless it was a setup, which is why they didn't bring, which would explain how they knew. How did they know Jesus was there? So they must have timed it on top of that. <laughs> like, what did Jesus write in the ground when he bent over? Like, I wonder, like, when Jesus got up and, like, the way I read the scripture, like, I try to visualize it. To me, it seems like Jesus didn't even look at the woman until she addressed him. Like, why didn't Jesus even look at her? All these types of questions, like, bring it Thursday night Bible study. We can talk about it, go through the Bible. We'll see. So, that, if you got any other questions, Bible, life, that's the time to bring them. And uh, I think that's about it. All right.
We cool? All right, bless the Jesus. So, Father, be with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's get up out of here.